New on Blu-ray to Terror Vision, a sub-company of Vinegar Syndrome, is the WNUF Halloween Special. This was released in 2013, and it's one of those things that I've always wanted to check out. It had a um, really strong uh, resemblance to Ghost Watch, or so I heard, and it is in certain uh, ways. It's done as if it's been uh, recorded on VHS as if someone has been, just been recording a news programme including adverts and all. Queen. Wait! Stop! Think! There's nothing sexy about STDs. It's kind of degraded in its quality and it gets to a kind of spooky element that's going on. So we have this WNUF channel um, as they are just giving out news stories on Halloween's night. The anchors are dressed up in funny costumes. Um, it's kind of disarming. It's very of its time. It's set in 1987 and it feels very much of that era. As we watch the, the, the news reporters and uh, the way they talk and the, uh, the way they uh, relay information and have things played out is, is very much like a product of its time. The fluff stories are there, the adverts are there for silly things of pro, uh, programmes that are going to be coming on the TV and it layers up this very um, subdued and easy watch. You know, it feels just like watching TV of that time and you kind of uh, move through it pretty quickly. Sometimes the, the information is fast forwarded, sometimes we get more of a story than we first expect and what you have is uh, Frank Stewart a out and about reporter, a snarky reporter who almost belittles everyone round about him or pokes fun at them and he is at the Weber house, a house that was the scene of a grisly murder uh, decades prior and you know as part of this fluff story they're going to open up the doors, go inside about a couple of paranormal investigators and have a look around. And the movie takes a little bit of time getting there, as they do with these um, stories on the news, they sort of prolong them and drag them out and that's what kind of happens here. By the time we get to some of the spookier goings on, it becomes a little bit more unravelled, a little bit more fun and a little bit more moresome. I wanted to see more of what was going to happen to experience uh, what was going to happen for the first time uh, checking this one out and watching Frank as he interviews people as he is kind of looking down his nose at everybody. I see an aura. You see an aura, okay, that's interesting. Uh, can, let me ask you a question. Has anyone ever called you Claire the Clairvoyant? No. As he does feel as if he's better than this story, which comes across in the wonderful performance and the, the dialogue. You get into the kind of creeps and scares within this household. Something is going bump within here. Once they're inside, there is something going drastically wrong. And that's when the film just jumps up exponentially, leaving you with a mysterious and strange finale that was kind of compelling, really kind of fun and enjoyable. You just got to dry up your ass. Right. Folks, I'm sorry, I don't know how to explain this, but something so horrible happened during the last segment. One of these movies that um, is very gimmicky, but it's a gimmick that works and it's not one that's been overused. Unlike Ghostwatch, the UK kind of version of this, which I feel is a far superior movie, this one is a, an almost kind of comforting watch. It's the kind of thing I can see me throwing on and enjoying in the background, tuning in and out of the parts that I enjoyed most and ignoring the parts that I felt dragged a little bit. That wasn't as um, as interesting as some other parts of the movie. A lot is to be said about the quality of this. It does feel like it's been recorded from TV. It's degraded. It has uh, the watermarks of a VHS tape. It has that um, feeling of lower quality and even getting something that's on Blu-ray feels almost redundant because the quality is negligible in this one because it's still VHS quality. It'd be nice to maybe see it sharpened up just a little bit and still have those aesthetics on it but it's a fun Halloween movie. It's one that I had a lot of fun watching. It's one that I, I really was kind of curious as to where it was going to go and I liked where it went later on as well. It's one that I would suggest checking out if you haven't seen it. If you like uh, this particular Halloween season and you're looking for something a little bit different, 
WNUF Halloween special is one that I can thoroughly recommend. I'd love to know your thoughts on this movie, when you first saw it, your thoughts on it, and, and, and whether you enjoy it or not. Let me know. I'd love to have a little discussion about this one. Of course, there's more videos up here that you can check out more of my content. If you really want to help, like and share this video. It would really help me grow a lot. Or you can even join the membership program or Patreon, which really helps as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.